Hi, good afternoon everyone. Hello, Jim. Nice to see you. Hi, Gigi again. Good day. Hop over. Hello, Linda. Good to see everyone. Hi, Fong. Good afternoon. Hello, Joanne. Thank you guys for joining me this afternoon. Let's see who else we have here. Hi, Ming Chu. Nice to see you. So I understand that, you know, people log in from all over the world. So they're just thinking how we have built up this yoga community. So just wondering who is here today from any other, uh, uh, any place other than Singapore? Hi, Joisa. Nice to see you. Hi. Anyone from anywhere else? Let's just let me know. Okay, just a quick check. Um, you guys can hear me loud and clear if I'm standing here. Just kind of to check again before we begin. Can you guys hear me loud and clear? Let me know. Yes, like Joisa said, today we're going to do mandala. So I've kind of asked you guys from... Oh, hi, from Indonesia. All right. Good to have you on board. So, um, yep, so we're talking about mandala. We're going to flow in mandala. Mandala, basically, just a quick um, recap for some of you who have been to my class before. I've done a lot of mandalas. Basically, we've, we, it means we flow in circle. Hi, Mark. Nice to see you. Hi, Kitty. Alright, so we are flowing mandala and with a little bit of focus on hips and hamstrings. I know you guys requested for like shoulders, glutes. A lot of you guys requested for hips and hamstrings. So we'll see what we can do, incorporate that in. We'll do a little bit of everything, but then we're flowing mandala. Basically, it means, it means we flow in circles, right? So listen to my cues carefully to get into the poses. So try not to get mixed up. So if you can avoid looking at me, just try not to because it's a flip image so I'll be doing a different leg from you so listen to my cues to get in the poses and then you won't be lost so be a little bit mindful be a little bit aware that's also your yoga as well okay I've seen people from a lot of different places right welcome hello hi Gus hi Kaling hi King Ling all ready to start yes Okay, so for vinyasa practice, the same goes. I'm not there to watch out for you. So listen to the body, do what you can. I'll be giving you options. So any point in time, if you need to take a break, just skip a vinyasa, come straight to down dog. Child's pose is also always a good option for any yoga classes, okay? So listen to the body and do what you can. Let's have fun flowing in circles today, all right? So once already, let's come to Find a comfortable seat on mat. Hello, hi Daniel from France. Welcome to join us. Okay, so find a comfortable seat on mat. And just um, very quickly, if you need any towel blocks, just grab it and place it by the side of your mat. Alright, coming to sit in a comfortable, comfortable position. Lengthening the chest, allow the hands to shed rest gently on the knees. Keeping your eyes closed, softening the breath. Now rolling the shoulders back and down once, stack the shoulders directly on top of your hips. Keeping the spine lengthened with the inhalation, lifting from the chest. Softening the body, allow the shoulders to gently descend away from the ears with the exhalation. Deep breath in and out through the nose. So bring your focus to your breath, turning the awareness inwards towards your body. Notice how the body feels right now. Notice whether there's any sensation, tension or tightness. Instead of resisting these sensations, See you can breathe in deeply into the body, creating space to allow them to be there. Working inwards to create space. And at the same time, work towards clearing the mind, creating mental space. Let go of your week, clear your mind of thoughts. Simply dedicating the next 60 minutes to you and your practice. Now stay with a deep breath. If you like, start to turn on your Ujjayi breath. Constrict the back of the throat, breathing in and out deeply. Hearing your breath more audible, listening to that ocean wave sound like breath, letting this breath guide you through the practice.
join your palms together, thumbs are heart center. Now stay with your breath. At the same time, I'd like you to think about something that you have done in the week that has made you strengthened. Perhaps add it on to your persistence to working on something over the week. Think about this. Something that actually enhances your inner strength. And we'll keep this to set our intention later on before we begin the flow. Just keeping this in mind and letting the breath guide you through the practice. Thumbs to the eyebrow center. Gently bow forward, blink your eyes open. Namaste everyone. Enjoy your practice. Now let's find a tabletop position. Spread the fingers out wide. Come to your off force. Stack the shoulders on top of the wrists. Hips on top of the knees. Knees and feet keep distance apart. Now keep the toes tucked behind you. Cat cow breathing to warm up the spine. As you inhale, belly down, tailbone up, chin up, gaze up to the ceiling, arching the spine, shoulders away from the ears. Exhale to tuck the chin to the chest. Bring the eye gaze to the belly button, look to the belly button, pull the belly in, press into the palms, round the back. Inhale, melting the heart down, roll the shoulders back and down, tailbone points up, look up into your cow pose. Exhale to scoop the sit bone under, draw the belly in, protract the shoulders, press into the palms, stretch up the back. Inhale, cow pose, belly down, shoulders away from your ears, arching the spine, look up. Exhale, cat pose, round the back, push into the palms, draw the belly. Two more times, slow with the breath, inhale. Exhale. One more deep breath, inhale, melt the heart, rolling the shoulders back and down, look up to the ceiling, bring the gaze up. Exhale, scoop the sit bone under, draw the belly in, round the back, push into the palms. Now inhale, melt the heart into a cow pose. Keep the hips stacked on top of the knees. Warm hands forward, find your puppy pose. So some of you request a little bit of back bend. We start from here. Now see so you can straighten the arms forward, lower the forehead down. If you can go deeper, bring your chin on the mat. Now if you can go even deeper, bring your chest on the mat. Start to stretch out the front of the body, arching the back here, but keep the hips stacked on top of the knees. Now we can walk the hands closer together, bring the palms together, bend the elbows, bring the thumbs to the crown of the head. If this is too much for your shoulders, it's too early, just keep the hands straight. Hands, shoulders, distance apart or wider if you like. Hold it here, stay with the breath together. We take one deep breath in, full breath out. Now straighten the arms. Slowly walk back to your tabletop position on all fours, press into the palms, come to your cow pose, tap the toes, inhale belly down, tailbone up, look up to the ceiling. Exhale, look to the belly button, to your cat pose, round the back now, stay in your cat pose, push into the palms. Tuck your toes, float the knees one inch off the mat. Now keep the belly drawn in, rounding the back line, cat spine, hold it here. So you push, start to fire the core, engage the core, draw the belly in more. Hold it here, three, two, one. First down dog, hips up, heels down. Now find the down facing dog, spread the fingers out wide. Your first down dog, do what you need to. If you need to stretch it out, bend the knees one by one. Ground the heels down, alternative feet. Stretching out the hamstrings, start to open the back of the legs. If you would like to stretch out the side body, keep the hips up high, dropping the heels side to side, side to side. Stretch on the left side, the right side, do what you need to. If you need to stretch on, open the hamstrings, you can lift the legs. Hold it here. Then eventually, slowly, make your way to your downward facing dog. Spreading the fingers out wide, index fingers pointing to the front. Draw the shoulders away from your ears, push top of the mat away from you. So you think of bringing the sit bone higher up to the ceiling, belly closer to the thighs. Now, inner, inner, rotate the thighs, ground the heels down. See, you can straighten the legs, stretch out the hamstrings further. Hold it here. One more deep breath in. Full breath out. Now, look forward, plank, inhale, shift your weight forward. Stack shoulders on top of the wrist, squeeze the kneecap tight, now line cat spine, round the back slightly. But hips in line the shoulders, draw the belly and push into the palms. One deep breath, inhale. Press back, down, with facing dog, as exhale. Plank, inhale, look forward, shift the weight forward. 
Stay, keep the palms down, take one deep breath, inhale. Now drop the heels to the right side, your heels. So body twist towards the right side, but keep the palms down, keep the hips up high. Back to plank pose, inhale. Now drop the heels to the left, keep the hips up high, push into the palms, twisting the body. Back to the center, plank pose, inhale. Now as you exhale, lower your knees, chest, chin down, eight point pose. Hugging the elbows and look forward. And tap the toes, glide forward to your baby cobra. So keeping the elbows bent, squeeze the shoulder blades together, chest forward, look up to the ceiling, in a thigh squeeze. Tap the toes, exhale, press back. Down with facing dog. One breath in. Full breath out. Look forward, plank, inhale, shift the weight forward. Come to the TB toes, push into the palms, then drop the heels to the right side, find the side plank. You can stack the feet and stretch left and up. If this is too challenging for you, option, lower the right knee down or step the left foot in front of the right knee. Continue to push down to right hand and stretch left and up. If you feel strong, stack the feet. Flex the feet, then sweep the left bicep by the ear. Now feel the left side body stretch as you lift the hips up higher. At the same time, firing up the obliques. One more deep breath, heel. Find your plank, hold your plank, draw the belly in. Then drop the heels to the left, stretch right and up, side plank. Now same thing if you need to modify, lower the left knee down, you can take options. Or you can step the left foot in front of the right knee and keep the left leg straight. Otherwise, step the feet, push down, then sweep the right bicep by the ear. Feel the rest of your body stretch as you try to tap your right fingertips down towards the mat, hips up high. One more breath, heel. Find your plank as you exhale. Now strong core, hold your plank or one chaturanga as you exhale. Push up to high plank and heel. Now your choice of vinyasa to chaturanga or knee chest chin for everyone. Inhale to up double cobra and up dog thighs off the mat. Look up. Tap the toes, exhale, press back. Down with facing up. One breath in. Full breath out. Feet together, heels up high. Now stretch your right leg up to the ceiling, three leg up. Keep the left heel up high, pull the right toes up, stretching it out. Feel the hamstrings open, inner thigh stretch. Reach up high, touch your right toes and ceiling, straighten the top leg as well. Deep breath, heel. Now bring your knee to touch your right wrist, exhale, shift the weight forward to touch. Inhale, keep the right leg up to your three leg up. Knee to the right elbow, shift the weight forward to touch. Inhale, kick the right leg up, three leg dog. Knee to the right tricep, bring it up high, touch and hold it here for three, two, one. Step right foot outside the right hand. Lower the left knee down, stretch your right hand up to the ceiling. Now untap the left toe, stretch your hands up, open the chest up to the ceiling, reach up and lean back. Now sling the hips down low. Right hand placed on top of the right knee, push the right knee away from you. Come to the outer edge of the right foot. So float the inner right arch off the mat. Sink the hips down low, straighten the right hand, chest forward, roll the shoulders back. Hips opening, hinder thigh stretch. Now if you feel strong, tuck your left toes and float the left knee off the mat. So keep the back leg straight, but keep pushing the right knee away from you. Otherwise, keep the left knee down. Shoulders away from the ears, chest up, lean back, look up. One more deep breath, heel. Hands down as exhale. Inhale to kick the right leg up. Now bend the right knee, open hips as exhale. Squeeze right heel to the left butt cheek. Round the left heel down, feel the left hamstring stretch. Now level the shoulders by pressing the right arm and down a bit more. Square the shoulders. Squeeze right heel to the left butt cheek. Open the right knee up higher than the ceiling. Now keep all of this, only straighten the right leg. Try to touch the left side of the room, whatever that is. Open the pelvis, open the hips. Hold it, one more deep breath. Straighten right leg and heel, down with facing dog as you exhale. Now left side, feet together, heels up high. Stretch your left leg up to the ceiling, three leg up top. Point the left toes up high, keep the right heel up high. Stay here, give the legs a good stretch first. Point the left toes up, push into the palms. Reach up high, one more breath and heel. Now knee to the left wrist, exhale, shift the weight forward to touch. Inhale, kick the left leg up, three leg up. Knee to the left elbow, exhale, shift the weight forward to touch. Inhale, kick the left leg up, three leg up. Now knee to the left tricep, pull it up high, 
draw the belly in, touch and hold. One more breath, kneel. Now step left foot outside the left hand, lower the right knee down. Stretch your left hand up to the ceiling, open the chest, reach up and lean back, shine the heart. Hold it here. Now see so you can bend the left knee, sit the hips down a little bit more. Then left hand place on top of the left knee, push the knee away from you. Come to the outer edge of the left foot, so the inner left arm which float off the mat. Start to sink into the hips a little bit further. Now option to stay here if you feel strong, your hips are more open. Tap the right toes, float the right knee off the mat. Continue to sink the hips down low, but keep the right leg straight. Straighten the arms, now shoulders now collapse into the ears, extend neck long. Push shoulders away from the ears, push the left knee away from you, hold it here. Open the hips, stretch out the inner thighs. One more deep breath, kneel. Ground the left foot, hands down as exhale. Kick the left leg up, three leg up and heel. Bend the left knee, open the hips as exhale. Now ground the right heel down, feel the right hamstring stretch. Squeeze left heel to the right butt cheek, level the shoulders by pressing the left shoulder down. Keeping all of this, open the left knee up a little bit more, open the pelvis. And then slowly, keeping all of this, straighten the left leg up to the right side of the room. Whoever that is or whatever on the right side, try to touch it. Yes. Open the pelvis. One more breath. Back to three leg dog, left leg back to the center in heel, down with facing dog as exhale. Plank in heel. Now same thing, option to hold your plank. Or if you feel strong, one chaturanga, bend the arms. Push up high plank in heel. Your choice of vinyasa, chaturanga or nishashin. Inhale to up double cobra. Now option to pause here, give the front a good stretch or reverse vinyasa back to chaturanga or nishashin. Push up the high plank heel. Everyone this time press back to your downward facing dog. One breath in. Full breath out. Feet together, heels up high, soften the knees, look forward, step or hop lightly forward. Come to the top of the mat. Now half lift the left and the spine. Inhale, look forward. Exhale to fold over the thighs. Inhale to rise, palm stretch. Lean back, arch back into your back bend. Gentle back bend. Exhale, bow forward all the way down. Uttanasana, fold forward. Half lift, lengthen the spine. Inhale. Now exhale to fold over the thighs and grab the elbows from behind the legs. If this is challenging for you, just grab your forearms or just grab your legs. Lengthen the spine, look forward slightly, exhale the fold. See if you can slide the forearms down closer to the ankles if you're grabbing the elbows. Bring your face and touch the shin. Lifting the sit up high. So you can squeeze the kneecap nice and tight, roll the weight forward, tip it forward to the toes, slide down the heels. Allow the neck and shoulders relax. Hold it here. Take one deep breath in. Full breath out. Release the hands down. Inhale to rise. Palm stretch. Lean back, arch back. Now deepen the back bend this time. Chest up, hips forward. So you can bring the arms behind the ears. Push the stomach, hips and thigh forward. Exhale, Samastitihi. Hands in front of the chest. At the top of the mat, feet together. Close your eyes. Focus on a deep breath. Or if you like to set intention. Bring your mind back to what we discussed earlier. Something that has strengthened you throughout the week. Pick one thing. It can be something simple, anything that makes sense to you. And see how you can place this, this thought. Plant it in your thoughts. Use that as a guide to guide you through the practice as you flow on the mat. Now with the intention set, blink your eyes open. Let's low in here, reach your arms up. Lean back, arch back into a gentle back bend. Exhale, bow forward all the way down. Uttanasana, forward fold. Half lift, lengthen the spine heel. Exhale, the fold. Now step the right leg back. Lower the right knee down, low lunge. Arm Janyasana, stretch your arms up in here, reach up, lean back. Now bend the left knee, sit the hips down. Reach your arms up and back, so you can straighten the arms back, and reach back further. One more deep breath, kneel. Hands down, find your plank pose. Option to hold your plank or one chaturanga as the exhale. Push up to your high plank, kneel. Everyone to your chaturanga, only shashin, your choice of vinyasa. Inhale to up double cobra. 
Tuck the toes, exhale to press back. Down with these up, more breath in. Full breath up. Feet together, heels up high. Stretch your right leg up to the ceiling, three legged dog and heel. Now knee to the nose, exhale to touch and hold. Shift the weight forward, three, two, one step right foot between the hands, lower the left knee down, inhale to rise, reach your arms up, reach up, lean back, arch back. Now look up to the ceiling, deep breath in heel, as I exhale, sweep the arms back, half hand of manasana, straighten the right leg, float the ball of the right foot off the mat, arms like airplane wings, look forward and fold, give the hamstrings a good stretch. Now bend the right knee, sink hips down low, as you inhale, low lunge, reach your arms up, reach up, chest up, reach back, exhale to straighten the right leg. Pull the outdoor right hip back, fold forward, sweep the arms by the side, look to the right toes. One more time, inhale, bend the right knee, sink the hips down low, reach your arms up, chest up, lean back, arch back. Exhale to straighten the right leg, sweep the arms by the side, fold forward. Now this time, look forward, stay in a half hand one, keep the right leg straight. Now interlace the fingers behind you, chin away from the chest, pull the knuckles back and heel, exhale to fold over the right thigh. Now your balance is a challenge for you in this pose, you can always release the hands down. Otherwise, straight the legs, pull the knuckles forward, chin to the shin, fall a little bit deeper for three, two, one. Bend the right knee, sink the hips down low, reach your arms up, reach up, lean back, arch back. Hands down, now kick the right leg up, bend the right knee, find the side plank, stack the right foot on top of the left. Push down, lift the hips up high, stack the feet, straighten the right hand up. Stay here, modify if you need to, or flex the feet, float the right foot off the left, as high as you can. Hold it here, one more deep breath, kneel. Hands down, flow through any vinyasa that you like. If you're tired, just step back to your downward facing dog. One breath in, full breath out. Feet together, heels up high, right leg stretch up, three legged dog and heel. Knee to the nose, exhale to touch and hold for three, two, one. Low lunge, step right foot forward. Lower the left knee down, stretch your arms up and your reach up, lean back. Catch your breath here, see so you can reach your arms back, deep on the back bend, chest up, one more breath, kneel. Hands down, step the left foot forward, forward fold as exhale. Inhale to rise, palm stretch, lean back, arch back. Exhale, bow forward all the way down, Uttanasana, forward fold. Half lift, inhale, exhale to fold, step the left leg back. Lower the left knee down, low lunge, Anjaniasana, stretch your arms up and heel, chest up, arm straight and lean back, stay here. Now bend the right knee, feel the front of the left thigh stretch as a sink the hips down low, keep the chest lifted. One more deep breath and heel, hold the breath, hands down, step back to your plank pose. Option to hold your plank or one chaturanga as you exhale. Push up to high plank and heel, your choice of vinyasa for everyone, chaturanga or nishashin, exhale. Inhale to up dog or cobra. Exhale, press back. Down with facing dog. If you're tired, always have the options. Keep your vinyasa. One deep breath in. Full breath out. Feet together, heels up high. Left leg stretch up. Three legged dog and heel. Knee to the nose. Exhale, shift the weight forward to touch. Hold it. Three, two, one. Step left foot forward. Right knee down. Low lunge, arm, janyasana, stretch your arms up in here, reach up, lean back. Ashram spine, stretch back further. Look up, chest up, one deep breath, kneel. As you exhale, straighten the left leg, float the ball of the left foot off the mat. Half hand manasana, sweep the arms back like airplane wings, fall over the left thigh. Now bend the left knee, sink the hips down low, reach your arms up, reach up, lean back, arch back. Exhale, straighten the left leg, fall forward, pull the upper left hip back, squeeze the left knee, can nice and tight, straighten the left leg. One more time, inhale, <coughs> bend the hips down, reach your arms back, exhale to straighten, half hand manasana, left hamstrings, give it a good stretch, now interlace the fingers behind you, pull the knuckles back, straighten the arms, chest up, inhale, exhale to fall over the left thigh. Now to deepen this pose, you can bring the knuckles forward more, but keep the left leg straight, flex the left toes to the base, pull the upper left hip back. Now if you need support, you know what to do, release the hands down, fall deeper for one more deep breath. Now bend the left knee, release the grip, stretch your arms up to the ceiling and heel. Hands down, now kick the left leg up. Bend the left knee, step into your side plank. Step left foot on top of the right, stretch your left leg up. 
Now modify the knee too. You know your modification by knee down or step left foot forward. Otherwise, flex the feet. Lift the left leg off the right like a starfish as high as you can. Hold it here. One more deep breath, kneel. Hands down to plank. Option to flow to your vinyasa. Chaturanga or Nishashin. Exhale. Inhale to up dog, cobra. All of us knee in, down, with facing dog, one breath in. Full breath out. Feet together, heels up high, stretch it up, leg up to the ceiling, three legged dog and heel. Knee to the nose, exhale, hold it here, touch, shift the weight forward, three, two, one. Step left foot forward, right knee down, find a low lunge. Arm drag your center, stretch your arms up and heel, reach up, lean back. Open the chest, shine the heart. One more deep breath, stretch back further and heel. Hands down, step the right foot forward, forward fold as you exhale. Inhale to rise, palm stretch, lean back, arch back into a back bend. Exhale to bow forward, all the way down, Uttanasana, forward fold. Half lift, lengthen the spine heel, exhale to fold. Now bend the knees, Utkatasana, chair pose, sit the hips down low, reach your arms up high. Sit the hips down lower, tuck the tailbone under, draw the belly in, so you can bring the arms behind the ears, sit down lower, weight to the heels. One more breath, kneel. Hands down, forward fold as you exhale. Half lift, lengthen the spine heel. Exhale to fold, now step or hop back. Chaturanga or Nisha Shin. Inhale to your up dog or cobra, option to pause here or back to Chaturanga or Nisha Shin, your reverse Nyasa. Push up high, then heel. Everyone press back, down with facing dog. One breath in. Full breath out. Feet together, heels up high, soften the knees, look forward, step or hop forward. Half lift and heel, exhale to fold. Inhale to rise, palm stretch, lean back, arch back to your back bend. Exhale, bow forward, one more round, Uttanasana, forward fold. Half lift, lengthen the spine, heel. Exhale to fold, step or hop back, flow to any vinyasa that you like. You can do a couple of push-ups if you like. I know some of you like to put, do a lot. And then we all meet in your downward facing dog. Let's find three reps in down dog. We set. If you need a quick water break, go ahead. Otherwise, let's all wait for each other in downward facing dog. Deep breath in. Exhale three. Inhale. Exhale two. One more deep breath in. Full breath up. Mandala flow begins from now. Now feet together, heels up high. Stretch your right leg up to the ceiling, three legged dog and heel. Knee to the right wrist, exhale, shift the weight forward to touch. Inhale, keep your right leg up, three legged dog. Knee to the right elbow, exhale, shift the weight forward to touch. Inhale, keep your right leg up, three legged dog. Knee to the right tricep to touch and hold it here. Or option, you can bend the elbows to travel on the arms. Maybe you can straighten the right leg forward. If you wish to try EPK too, you can go ahead. Otherwise, stay there. One more deep breath. Inhale to keep the right leg up. Bend the right knee, open the hips just for fun. Now, left heel up, high and heel. Knee to the nose as you exhale. Shift the weight forward. Stay here or three legged chaturanga. Straighten the right leg, bend the elbows and heel. Knee to the nose to touch and hold for three, two, one. Warrior one, step right foot forward, spin the back heel down, set up your warrior one, rise up. Now stretch your arms up, square the hips. Pull the outer right kick back, bend the right knee, make the right thigh parallel to the floor, stretch your arms up high. Keep pressing down towards the outer edge of the left foot, tuck the tailbone under, draw the rib cage in. Stretch your arms up high, hold it here, bend the right knee. Release the hands behind you. Interlace the fingers, now pull the knuckles back, chest up, look up to the ceiling. Exhale, bow forward to your humble warrior. So you can touch your forehead down towards the mat beside the right heel. Two more times like this, pull yourself up, bend the right knee, chest up, lean back, arch back. Exhale, bow forward to your humble warrior. One more time, inhale, rise up, pull the arms back, chest up, look up. Exhale, bow forward, humble warrior. So you can touch your forehead down this time. Now hug the right knee in closer to the right shoulder. Press down firmly towards the outer edge of the left foot. Scissors the inner thighs by drawing the outer right hip back towards the inner left thigh. Bring the hands forward more. 
Now, if you wish to add on to this, look towards the right foot. See if we can bring the left hip to touch the mat. And bring the knuckles towards the left side of the room. Hold it here. One more deep breath. Now pull this up back up to your warrior one. Strong legs, stretch your arms up high. Hold it here. Open up to your warrior two. Spread the arms out wide. Keep the right knee bent. If you need to widen the stance, go ahead. Now bend the right knee. Sit up down low. Spread the arms apart. Look towards the left hand. Lean forward. Look the left palm in here. Reverse warrior. Exhale. Left hand to the back leg. Sit right bicep body here. Lean back. Arch back. Stretch back further. Hold it here. Now keep all of this. Straighten the right leg in here. Stretch back further with the exhale. Feel the right side body stretch. Now scooping the sit bone under. Half the rib cage in. So you can stretch right hand back more. One more breath. Keep the leg straight. Inhale to rise all the way up. Now three can ask now. Look towards the right hand. Lean forward. Hips back. Right hand on the right shin. Stretch left hand up. If you can deep on this pose, please right finger pads outside the right foot. But the energy lifts up instead of collapsing down. All right. So very light on the weight on the right hand. See, I can float the right hand. Let's say hi to you. Yes, yeah, so stretch left and up. Now scoop the right bone under. Then sweep the left bicep out of here. Roll the left shoulder back. Hold it here for one more deep breath in here. As you exhale, left hand place on the lower back. Look down towards the right foot. Some of you know where we're going. We're going for half moon pose. Walk the right fingertips forward a little bit more. Slowly shift the weight forward to the right leg and float the left leg up. Now left hand to peel the left hip open, flex the left toes to face the left side of the room. So you can lift the left leg up higher, once you're ready, find the half moon pose, extend the left hand up. Option to stay here or chapasana, bend the left knee, reach back, grab the ankle and kick. So we have different levels of practitioner here, do what you can. Now if the right leg is not straight, you can use a block, place it underneath the right hand. Option to stay here, last option, look down, find the balance, maybe bring, bring the right thumb to the heart center. Hold it for three. Stay the twist, two. One, right hand down, left hand reach up, find your half moon pose. Soften the right knee, step back, find your warrior two. Sit the hips down low, spread the arms apart. Now bring the palms to the heart center, straighten the right leg. Turn the left toes to face the back, squat to the back, skandasana. Float the ball of the right foot off the mat. Stretch your inner thighs. Keep the chest lifted. Hold it here. Now pull up to your warrior two. Bend the right knee. Stretch, stretch your arms apart. Look towards the right hand. Two more times like this. Inhale to skandasana. Sit the hips down low. Chest lift. Roll the right shoulder back. Warrior two to rise up. Spread the arms apart. Right hand forward. Left hand back. Palms to heart center. Squat to skandasana. Hold it here. And lift yourself up. Warrior two. Last one to your skandasana, we hold it there. Bend the left knee, sit the hips down low. Now roll the right shoulder back, chest lift. Stay here, adding on to a bit deepening the twist, spread the arms apart. Left palm down, right hand reach up. Now make sure the left tricep stays inside the left knee. Hold it here, reach right hand back for a half bind. Or if you're ready for full bind, go ahead. If you're full bind, so you can reach for the right wrist. Straighten the arms, chest up. Roll the right shoulder back, flex your right toes. Hold it here for one more deep breath. Back to the center, palms to the heart center. Now release both hands inside the left foot. Then turn to face the back of the room, hold it here. Now keep the right knee off the mat. So look at my right leg, it's straight, right heel off the mat. Find a little pose. So I'm going to stay at where you are, I'm just going to turn towards you so you can see what I'm doing. So palms let down, if you wish to lower it to your lizard pose, forearm lizard, lower the forearms down. Now squeeze the left knee, close the left shoulder, rock front and back, front and back. Now make sure the right knee stays off the mat. Hold it here. Now, I know the hips are screaming here, that's the whole idea. Now pull the right hip up slightly. Option to stay in the forearms, or if you wish to be but everything else remains the same, just stretch your hands forward. Come to the finger pads. So finger pads, just the finger pads. Then sing the hips down low. Now do not touch your forehead down to the mat. If you can deepen this pose, bring your chest towards the mat. Hold it here for three, for two, arch the hips, and one. Now lower the forearms down. Hold it there first. I'm going to shift back. Now step back to your forearm plank. Step the left leg back. Squeeze the knee, hand nice and tight. Now place your right palm on the mat. 
Forearm side plank. Drop the heels to the right side. Stretch your left hand up. Push down with the hips up high. Sweep the left bicep by the ear. ear. Touch your left fingertips down. Now, last option. Flex the feet and float the left foot off the right as high as you can. Hold it here. One more deep breath. Hips up high. Now, slowly come to your plank pose. Palms let down. Option to flow through your vinyasa if you like. Any vinyasa that you choose. Let's all be in down with facing up. Deep breath in. Full breath out. Feet together, heels up high, soften the knees, look forward. Now step or hop forward. Half lift, lengthen the spine, heel. Exhale to fold. Inhale to rise, palm stretch. Lean back, arch back into your gentle back bend. Hands in front of the chest, Samasthiti. Now continue to face the back of the room. I'm just turning towards you so that you can see what I'm doing. So stand on your right leg. Come to your figure four. So step your left ankle on top of the right knee. Flex left foot for a figure four chair. Bend the right knee. Sit the hips down low. Stretch your arms up. Hold it here. Now see so you can sit the bum back a little bit more. Push the left knee down. You should feel the good stretch of the left hips. Sit down lower. Hold it here. Now see so you can bring your belly to touch the left shin. Keep looking forward. Now look at my hands. Bicep by the ears is not low. So keep the arms parallel to the floor. Hold it here. Three. Two, one, keep the legs, now just stand up, halfway, right hand on the right hip, left piece fingers, grab the left big toe or grab the knees and stand all the way up. You can grab onto the knee or you can go deeper, grab the left toes and extend leg towards the left side. Now roll the left shoulder back, chest lift, hold it here, or fall forward halfway. Maybe bring the palms to the heart center, just optional. We've done this in one of our flows before. Hold it here, show me in the thighs. Then slowly stand all the way up. If you need to bend the left knee, go ahead. Now do not drop the left leg. I'm going to turn to the back wall. All right, so bring the left knee towards the front and kick the left heel forward, stretch your arms up high. So you are kicking the heel towards the front, the front that you're looking at. Hold it here, lift the leg up high. One more breath in heel. Now step the left leg back to your crescent lunge. Bend the right knees, sit down low, chest up high, one deep breath, kneel. Open up to your warrior two, split the arms apart. Now stretch right hand forward, bend the right knees, sit the hips down low, hold it here. Look towards the right hand, lean forward, flip the right palm in here, reverse warrior, exhale. Left hand to the back leg, sweep right bicep by the ear, lean back, arch back. Back to warrior two in here, supported side angle, bend right elbow onto right thigh, sweep the left bicep by the ear, spin the left shoulder back. If you can deepen, you can place right hand inside the right foot. Continue to spin the left shoulder back here. Then reach the left hand back for half bind. Now if you can go for full bind if you have it in practice, reach right hand back, grab the left wrist, straighten the arms. Now if you do not have full bind, you go very close here and grab a small tower. Otherwise, just stay in your half bind. Hold it here. Now straighten the right leg in your full bind or half bind. Roll the left shoulder back, belly away from right thigh, scoop the right sit bone under. Hold it here. Now look down, keeping a bind or half bind, turn the right toe, so face your left side. All right, so coming to the forward fold, keeping the bind. If you're in half bind, your right hand, you can place it just underneath the face and fall a little bit deeper. Or try full bind, maybe today. Option to stay here or find your bird of paradise. We've done this in one of my community class. So otherwise, just stay forward forward and stay with a twist in the back. In the ball of paradise, slowly stand up. Left leg straighten first. Then pull the right shoulder back. Once already, extend the right leg up to the sling. Roll the right shoulder back more. Look forward. Last pose is to smile. Corners of the lips up. Yes, hold it here. One more deep breath. And gently release, slow it down. Spread the legs apart, release, hands down, half lift, lengthen the spine, forward fold as exhale. Place the palms step between the feet, fold a little bit deeper, keep both legs straight. Hold it here. If you have any other variations, you can go ahead. Otherwise, we're just going to stay in the forward fold. For last three, two, one, half lift, lengthen the spine here. Now walk the hands over to the front. 
lower the right knee down, find a low lunge. Half the thighs and hip, inner, inner thighs and hips doing it. Now, reach your arms out, inhale, reach up, lean back as exhale. One more deep breath, inhale. As exhale, release the hands now, framing the left foot. Now, half on the manasana, shift the weight back. Float the ball of the left foot off the mat, pull the outer left hip back, flex the left toes, and fold over the left thigh. Some of you requested for this, mark. Try full splits if you can. Otherwise, stay in your half splits. The key is to feel the left hamstring stretch. Though the left leg should be straight. It doesn't matter whether the right leg is straight or not. Of course, you can slide all the way down to your full splits. Go ahead, listen to the body. Challenge yourself. Any other variation from your full splits? You can come to a forward fold. You can reach your arms up and lean back. Make sure the hips stay squared by pressing the right hip forward. Left hip pull back. Flex the left toes, squeeze the left knee, can nice and tight, look up if you can. One more really deep breath. Hands down, kick the left leg up to your three-legged dog. Hold it here, stretch it up high. Then the left knee, open the hips, stay or drop into your wild thing. Ball of the left foot behind you, chest up, left bicep by the ear, hold it, maybe touch the left fingertips down. One more deep breath, inhale. Hands down, option to flow through vinyasa. Or skip your vinyasa if you need to, and we'll be in down, but please sit down. Catch your breath. And Angela, this is for you. You know my joke. And everyone else as well. One more side to go, just one more side, right? We can do this. And let's begin, feet together, heels up high. Left leg stretch up to three-legged dog. Now knee to the left wrist, exhale, shift the weight forward to touch. Inhale, kick the left leg up, three-legged dog. Knee to the left elbow, exhale to touch. Inhale, kick the left leg up, three-legged dog. Knee to the left tricep, touch and hold it here. Option to stay here or bend the elbows, shut around the arms. You can straighten the left leg forward. If you have EPK2, fly up, float the right leg up. Just optional. One more breath. Roll with the right knee down, right toes down. Kick the left leg up. Bend the left knee, open the hips as you exhale. Right heel up, high heel. Knee to the nose, exhale to touch. Or three-legged chaturanga, heel straighten the left leg, bend the elbows, knee to the nose, touch and hold, three, two, one, warrior one, step left foot forward, spin the right heel down, square the hips, and heel to rise. Now bend the left knee, catch your breath, and warrior one first, scoop the sit bone under, hug the ribcage in. Arm straight, stretch up. Release the hands by the side, switching the grip, the other thumbs in front, if you can remember, pull the knuckles back, chest up and heel, exhale, bow forward, humble warrior. Fall and touch the ground if you can. Two more times. Inhale, pull yourself back up. Keep the left knee bent, chest up, knuckles back. Exhale the bow, humble warrior. One more time. Inhale, pull back, chest up, look up. Exhale the bow to your humble warrior. Touching the forehead down. Now hug the left knee closer towards you. Adding on to a twist with the left, look towards the left foot. See if you can bring the right ear down to the mat as you bring the knuckles to the right side through. Keep hugging the left knee in, hold it here, one more deep breath. Look forward slightly, rise all the way up to your warrior one, release the hands, grip, stand the left knee, sit down. Open up to your warrior two, split arms apart. Widen the stance if you need to, keep the left knee bent, left knee step on top of the left anchor. Look forward, lean towards the left hand, lift the left palm here, reverse warrior exhale. Right hand to the back leg, sweep left bicep by the ear, stretch back further, hold it here. Straighten the left leg, keeping everything the same, stretch left hand back a little bit further so you can slide the right fingertips down, closer towards the right ankle. Back up, rise up, straighten both legs. Find a tree canasana, lean forward, hips back, left hand down, right hand reach up. You can place left knee pads outside the left foot if you choose, but no weight on the left hand, very light. Keep stretching the right hand up. The energy goes up. Then sweep the right bicep by the ear. Now scoop the left sit bone under. Lean the right shoulder back more. One more breath. Place the right hand on the lower back or grab the hips slowly. Make your way to your half moon pose. Quad left hip tips forward. Float the right leg up. Peel the right hip open. Flex the right toes towards the right side of the room. Extend the right hand up. Find your half moon pose. Now, option to stay or chapasana. You can bend the right knee, reach back with that right ankle and kick. Heel away from the bum, open the chest, roll the right shoulder back. Last option, if you can remember, play around if you like. Look down, bring the left arm throughout center. 
unsupported here, only left extend. Hold it, one more deep breath. Release your half moon pose. Soften the left knee, step back to your warrior two. Spread the arms apart, hold it here, palms to the heart center. Then straighten the left leg, turn the right toes up, skandasana to the back. Float the ball of the left foot off the mat. Now feel the inner thigh stretching the left side, chest lift to the thumbs. Two more times, inhale to pull yourself up, warrior two, bend the left knee, spread the arms apart. Skandasana, palms to the heart center, bend the right knee, squat to the back. Warrior two, rise up. Bend the left knee, sit hips down low. Skandasana, squat to the back. Now one last time. Back to warrior two. Skandasana and hold it there. Palms in the heart center. Push, lift the chest. Split the arms apart. Right hand down, left hand reach up. Right tricep stays inside. Bind or half bind if you choose. Reach back. Right hand can grip the left wrist. Straighten the left hand. Roll the left shoulder back. Gaze up to the ceiling. Hold it here. One more deep breath. Release the palms down. Now walk to the back, find your lizard pose. So in lizard pose, left heel off the mat. I'm just going to face to the back so they can see me from this angle, from this side. Left knee off the mat, so you can lower the right ball up down. Find the lizard pose, hug the right knee in. And then move front and back, front and back. Make sure the right knee stacks on top of the right ankle. Now pause in the center, hug the right knee in closer. Now look, my left knee stays off the mat. Hold it here, option to stay here. Or if you wish to deepen the hips opening, crawl the right finger pads forward first, then left finger pads forward. Nothing changes in the legs and the body. Now, look forward. Think about bringing the chest down to the mat. Do not touch your forehead down. Do not rest your weight. That's cheating. So chest down, look forward. Hold it, back leg straight. One more deep breath. Now slowly come back. How's the hips? Now lower the forearms down, then step the right leg back. Find your forearm plank. Squeeze the knee, cap nice and tight, draw the belly in. Now drop your heels to the left side, stretch right hand up, forearm side plank. Push down, lift the hips up high. Then swing the right bicep by the hips up high. And touch your right finger press down to the mat. Option to stay here or flex the feet and float the right leg as high as you can. Hold it. One more deep breath, hips up high. Hands down, find your plank pose. Flow through vinyasa of your choice. If you have tired, skip your vinyasa. Let's all meet in down, what's facing down. One breath in. Full breath out. Feet together, heels up high, soften the knees, look forward, step or hop forward. Half lift the heel, exhale to fold. Inhale to rise, palm stretch, lean back, arch back. Hands in front of the chest, Namaste. I'm going to stay facing the back, so figure four, shift the weight to your left leg. Now stack the right foot on top of the left knee, flex the right foot. Figure four chair, bend the left knee, sit hips down low, stretch your arms up. Like what we did earlier. Now bend the left knee, sit down lower, arms up higher, then bring the belly or the chest to touch the right calf. Keep looking forward. Arms parallel to the floor, bring the arms up higher, hold it here, one more deep breath. Slowly stand up halfway, left hand on the left hip. Now right hand option, grab the right knee, or peace fingers grip the right big toe, and open it out towards the right side. Roll the right shoulder back, chest lift. Maybe stretch the left hand towards the left side, or fold forward if you choose halfway. Hold it here. Play around with the balance if you can, bring the palms to the heart center. We did this before, three, Two, one, now stand all the way up, bend the right knee to the chest, extend and kick the right heel to the front. Stretch your arms up high, reach up high, one more breath heel. Step back to your present lunge, exhale, just for transition. Bend the left knee and heel, open up forward, two, spin the right heel down, exhale, spread the arms apart. Hold it here, sit the hips down lower. Now reverse. Flip the left palm, right hand to the back leg, sweep the left bicep by the ear, lean back, arch back. One more deep breath. Back to your warrior two, inhale, supported side angle, exhale, then left elbow, sweep the right bicep by the ear. Left elbow, left forearm can rest on the left thigh, or if you can deepen, left hand inside the left foot, spin the right shoulder back. 
You know where to go from here? Half a full bite. Make sure I come back. Grab the inner left thigh, thread it underneath the leg. If you're going for full bites, you can reach for the right wrist with the right hand. A towel if you need to, if you're so close. Roll the right shoulder back, lift the chest up. Keeping the bind, straighten the left leg. Hold it here. Now both legs straight, keep rolling the right shoulder back first. Bound or half bound, trick and asana. Then turn the left toes towards your right side. And fold between the thighs. Hold it here. Straighten both legs. Now you know your option. You can stay here, work on the twist and fold fold. Or find your bird of paradise. So we can walk the feet closer together. Then slowly step all the way up. Now my back is facing you because I'm doing mandala as well. Now find the balance. Hold it here, lift up, roll the left shoulder back. Straighten the right leg. Then straighten the left leg once or all the way up. Hold it here. For three, for two, and one. Now gently bend the left knee. Step all the way down, release the bind. Hands down, spread the legs out wide. Half lift and heel. Exhale the fall. Any variation, you can interlace fingers behind you for your forward fold or just a simple forward fold if you like. Any other variation, you're welcome. But we're not going to hold here for too long. Hold it for three, two, and one. Gently release. Half lift and heel. Turn the right toes to the front. Lower the left knee down. Find a low lunge. Reach your arms up and heel. Reach up, lean back. Anjan Yasna, chest up. Exhale the hands down, framing the right foot, straighten the right leg, half Hanumanasana. <coughs> Float the ball of the right foot off, exhale the fold over the right thigh. <coughs> Excuse me. Now you know where to go. Full splits if you did it for the other side, balance up both sides. Otherwise, stay half splits. The last one to go. <laughs> Pull the outer right hip back. Any variation, no full splits, you can keep the arms up, keep the front leg straight, flex the right toes, fold forward or lean back. Square hips as fast as you can. One more deep breath. Now hands down, slide the right heel back to your half Hanumanasana. Soften right knee, palms down, kick the right leg up, three to the top. Bend right knee, stay or flip into your wild thing. Last one. Last back bend. Right heel up, maybe touch one fingertips down, hold it here for three, two, and one. Hands down, very nice. Flow through your last vinyasa. Or just skip it. And we'll meet in downward facing dog. Lower the knees down, find the child's pose. Lower the forehead down. Hands by the side. Keep the eyes open, stay here. Slowing down the breath. How's everyone doing? Okay, I hope. All right. Now inhale to sit all the way up. Stretch your arms up to the ceiling. Exhale, twist to the right. Give the spine a good twist. Right fingertips behind you. Left hand on the right knee. Lengthen the spine, chest up and heel. Turn and twist. Look way past the right shoulder as exhale. Option to stay here or you can crawl the right finger pads back a little bit more and lift the hips up. It's like a camel but adding onto a side twist. Lift the hips off the heel, stretch left hand back. One more deep breath. Back to the center, lower down. Stretch arms up and heel, twist to the left. Left hand behind you, right hand on the left knee. Lengthen the spine heel, turn and twist, look way past the left shoulder. Stay on left finger pads, crawl back slightly, stretch right hand up to the ceiling, push into the left finger pads and lift the hips up. Sweep the right bicep out here is a twist, adding on to a little bit of back bend, push your hips and thighs forward. Stretch back, one more deep breath. Slowly lower the hips down. Now sit to one side of the mat, stretch your legs forward. Hold it here. Touch more of the nasana. You can bring the feet hip distance apart if the hamstrings are still tight. If they're more open, feet together. Flex the feet, stretch arms up and heel. Exhale, bow forward all the way down. Hands strap on the side of the legs or the feet and fold. Now instead of looking to the belly button to round the back, keep the chin away from the chest. You want to lengthen the spine as you fall forward. Look to your toes. 
I know some of us in this circuit breaker, we did not have our toenails done. But it's okay, look at them. <laughs> and smile at them. They're still our toes after all, right? Go forward, roll the shoulders back, hold it here for one more deep breath. And then gently release. Lie down on your back, slowing down. Now bend both knees to your chest. Reward yourself, give yourself a nice big hug, grab your elbows to each other, rock side to side, side to side, massage your back. Hold it here. Now let the boy to touch your knee, crunch and squeeze in. Keep the boy touching the knee. Stretch your hands towards the feet. Then slowly, slowly straighten the legs. Find the low boat, flex the toes. Look at the toes one more time, look at them. Open the legs, let the sins apart. Open the hands, wider. Now lower back stays on the mat. Shoulders lift off the mat. So draw the belly, embrace the core. Look at the six packs. Hopefully six packs. Now flex the feet. Chest lift, hold it here. We didn't do any plank today, so stay with me. Last push, five, four, three, two, one, lower down. Slowly, slowly bend both knees in. Open up to your happy baby. Stack the heels on top of the knees, squeeze the feet from the outside, tuck the chin in, press the hips down, rock side to side, side to side if you like. Lengthen the spine, back of the neck long, massage the back one more time, hold it here. Now stay here, if you wish to try something fun, bring your big toes together, open the knees up wide. Then lift your forehead to touch your big toes. If you can go further than this, this is the bum part, so you can tuck the knees behind the shoulders and just hook the ankles together. Or just try. If you can release the hands into the fingers on the lower back. Just option. Otherwise, stay. Happy babies in good pose or bring the big toes to touch. Hold it here. Last three. Two. And one. Gently release. Final Shavasana. Feet medicines apart, close your eyes. If you wish to stay longer in the Shavasana, you wish to mute the chat or lift this chat room, we can go ahead. Otherwise, I'm coming to you to connect with you. How's everyone doing? How was the flow for you? So this is Mandala. We flow one round each side. I only have um, less than two minutes remaining for this chat. So just kind of quickly check in on you guys. How are you guys doing? How do you find the flow? So today we focus on um, hips and hamstrings. I hope some of you are happy with the class. Thank you, Mark, for joining me today. Thank you, everyone, for joining me on a Saturday afternoon. I hope all of you are doing great, whichever part of the place that you're in. Right, and um, in line with the intention that you have set earlier, I'd like you to just think about that intention and see how you can take the same intention, step off the mat, continue your weekend with this intention that has kind of helped you to build inner strength and perhaps to bring it forward towards the next week as well. All right, thank you guys. Thanks, King Ling. Thank you all of you for joining me this afternoon. Thanks, Tina. Thank you, Kenny. Thank you. Thanks, JG. Good to see all of you working hard. Thank you, Audrey. See you. All right. If you have any question or feedback, please feel free to write into Pure Yoga Singapore. Just drop us a message. Now, any requests, let me know as well. Yes, Angie, for you. One more side to go. <laughs> right. All right. Thank you, Winsa from Hong Kong. Nice to see you again. All right. Any requests or anything, you can always drop me a message on my personal IG as well. All right. Thank you, Cheryl, for joining. Thank you, Alicia. If you do not have any questions, feedback for now, I'll leave you to enjoy the rest of your Saturday and weekend. All right, if you still feel that, okay, I have one more class, stay on 6 p.m. Join, I think, Miriam for Hatha one, right? Okay, otherwise, I only have 10 seconds remaining. Namaste, everyone. Thank you very much for joining me this afternoon. Have a great weekend. I'll see you back Monday, maybe Yin Yang, 10.30. See you. Bye.